Have you ever wondered how to add tails and swashes to your fonts so you can make pretty imitations like this? Or like these? Or even like these with the heart? Well, keep on watching. I'll show you the easiest way to do this in Cricut Design Space, no matter which device you're using. So before we head over to Cricut Design Space, the first thing we actually need to do is grab our font. So the font I'm gonna be playing with today is called Manstein. And this one is great because it has a lot of swatches we can play with at the beginning and the end of words. And there's multiple options. So we're gonna go and dive into that. Now on to font, it doesn't immediately show all the different options you have here. So if you actually go to the bottom and you click on view all glyphs, then you'll see more of the options available for that font. And here you can see there are lots of different things here that you could use. Now, some of these you can probably copy directly from the Defont website. So if you click on it, you can copy the glyph here. And you can see that I just copy and pasted it into Cricut Design Space directly. So this bypasses the other step I'm going to show you. But sometimes when you download fonts, they don't come with this option. So you can see all these glyphs. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways you can find all these characters. So then you can copy it into Cricut Design Space to make your design. Now, once you download your font, you should be able to find it in your downloads on your computer. And whether you are on a Mac or a Windows computer, all you have to do most of the time is just double click it and there'll be an option to install the font. Now, if you are on a tablet or a cell phone, you will actually have to look up the specific font installation guide for your device on the internet because there's so many different types of phones and tablets out there that they're very specific to usually the brand. So Samsung, for example, has a different method um, versus Google. So as an example, I can't actually install fonts on my Google Pixel, which I discovered, unless I root my phone. And I didn't want to do that, so I haven't played around with that option, um, which actually makes Cricut Design Space very limiting on my cell phone. But uh, I know that there are ways you can do it with um, other Android phones. And with your iPhone, there are apps you can install. Just look for Font Manager um, apps, so things like iFont. Um, there's a few different options here, and you'll have to play around with them. Some of them have ads, and some of them are paid. So take a look at that. Again, it's, it's very specific to the type of phone you have when you install fonts into Cricut Design Space. So once we're in Cricut Design Space, here you can hit the text button. And here you can go to fonts and it would be under your systems tab here for any fonts that you've downloaded. The Cricut fonts would just show you fonts that Cricut has on their system. Um, but because you've downloaded it to your device, it'll be under your system. It'll have all your fonts on here. So here I, I search for the font and I can click on that. And I've toggled toggled over to that font. Now, if you don't see your font listed in the systems font and you are pretty confident you properly install the font onto your device, it is likely because you need to reboot Cricut Design Space because if you have this open already and then you install the font, it's not going to show up here. So close out of Cricut Design Space and reboot it up and it should, it should be here next time. Now here, let's just start writing some text. And going back over to Defont, so again, if you have a font that has these options, you can copy directly from here and then add those, um, those swashes directly to a Cricut Design Space here. So like that looks kind of neat. But let's say that you had a font that doesn't show up here. So if you installed the font, on an Apple computer, then it will show up in your font book here. This is a look at what font book looks like. And here you have access to all of the glyphs you can see on the side here. So you can drag, you can search through that and select them from here and do the same thing, copy and paste that into your design. And it's a similar function in Windows. It's under the character map that you're looking for to grab these directly in Windows. And 
if this is kind of like all too much for you, then there's a site that I really like to use that's kind of foolproof for basically any of these, especially like if you're on a tablet or something, and that is ohmyglyph.com. So here, if you just upload the font that you just downloaded, so I'm going to load a font here. I'm going to put that in there and see it has all of the glyphs here as well. Um, so again, if Defont doesn't have the way to view all the glyphs, you can also do this one and this will look and find all the glyphs, <laughs> which is nice because you can also kind of preview it here. So if you wanted to play with it, you can start adding those here. This video is part of my Cricut Design Space for Beginners series, and I'll be doing more videos to show you how I design various things using Cricut Design Space. And if there's anything that you would like to learn, please let me know in the comments. And that's all for today. So until next time, guys, bye!